And yes, there's going to be some that come at me because they just refuse to think that precious Paula White can do anything wrong. She just lost a case where she actually sued a YouTuber. That's right. Paula White, right? Because she's so holy. She sued a YouTuber and she lost. And in fact, the YouTuber filed a counterclaim and actually got awarded right around $13,000. I dislike Paula White immensely. I did a video a while back on her where she attempted to call down death upon those that would not donate an entire month's salary to her. It was one of the most evil things that I have seen in, uh, in these current times. Of course, it's clear to anybody who willingly wants to use their brain that Paula White is a prosperity gospel teacher, preacher, uh, clearly a narcissist who willingly carved her face, by the way, at the expense of all her donors, yes, in this day and age, a woman claiming to represent Jesus Christ took donations and got plastic surgery. Very clearly, she can't even speak now. Well, you're just being mean, Drew. Well, maybe I am. I get a little mad when I see the lambs of Christ just being slammed and torn apart and abused by wolves who have no care for the truth of Jesus Christ. She's a very evil woman. So here we are at the Pulpit and Pen, just a website I chose to read. The article's out there. I'm not sure about the Pulpit and Pen. Please don't get mad at me. I'm not promoting them. But we're just going to read a little bit about Paula White sues critic and loses in court. And I like this big time. Can you imagine that? Paula White, a leader, supposed leader. We know she's not. She's a fraud. Suing a YouTuber. <laughs> I tried in vain to find this one, Shirley Johnson. Uh, the one who got sued by Paula. And there's like a thousand. I don't know. I, I really tried to find her. I can't pinpoint her channel down. Uh, but let's read a little bit. Paula White sued Shirley Johnson for taking clips of White's videos and posting them with an accompanying uh, criticism, which is acceptable, by the way, under fair use doctrine, unless somebody's taking the material in its entirety and they're trying to profit from it. Uh, almost everyone agrees I'm sorry, almost everyone recognizes that when it comes to public officials, politicians, teachers, and celebrities of any type of UL evangelical celebrities, on the other hand, they think they're above the law, don't they? Carved face Paula thinks that she can just sue anybody. Here it says, Shirley Johnson used uh, images and videos of White to criticize her prosperity-driven ministry, which absolutely is. White sued Johnson, but the case was dismissed. Johnson countersued for emotional damage due to the impastor's frivolous lawsuit, and the judge ruled in favor of Johnson, granting her 13,707 in damages. Of that amount, 12,500 was for mental anguish, and the rest was for her legal fees. I like this part. The trouble's not over for White. However, as Johnson filed a separate complaint against her for intentionally misrepresenting copyright law, so that's very deceitful on Paula White. Now remember, Paul, I don't know who Shirley Johnson is. And I can't sit here and say, you know, I don't know who she is. I don't know what her intentions are. But I do know that her uh, action was reactionary to what Paula White was doing. I don't know if uh, Ms. Johnson is, in fact, even a Christian. But I can tell you, according to Scripture, if we come over to 1 Corinthians uh, should Christians, now again, we know that Paul, but we want to we want to back our claims up with Scripture. Uh, look what it says in 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Dare any of you having a matter against each other uh, go to law before the unjust and not before the saints? Do you know that the saints shall judge the world? In other words, you can read all this and find out that no, you're not supposed to sue. But that's something I, I absolutely believe that Paula White could not resist because she is a carved up face narcissist. Oh, sorry about that. I'm going to back it up and calm down a little bit here. This is very important scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Uh, Paul is chastising uh, the Christians at that time for dragging each other into court. You should not do it. If anything, if, if Paula White's intentions were true, she had the time to sue. She certainly could have had the time to reach out to this one Shirley Johnson and talk it over if she really cared instead of taking her to court. But that's how you know that Paula White's an absolute fraud and a fake.
So in dealing with these end times, how do you reconcile this? Well, you have to just realize that there are a lot of evil people out there pretending to be Christian, pretending to represent Jesus Christ. And if you were alert reading your Bible and staying attuned to uh, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you would easily pick them off. See, the problem is most of the followers who worship these televangelists and these prosperity gospel teachers, um, they treat them like rock stars. And so they don't know. And, and in many cases, they can do no wrong. There's going to be people that hate me and, and say, how dare you, Trill? Paula White's the woman of God. And she's not. She's an absolute devil. I mean, with all honesty, if you're, if you're asking within yourself, as we all go through the, these end times, when you can't tell the difference between a person who supposedly represents Jesus Christ and a celebrity slash actual prostitute, for example, prostitutes wear leather. Prostitutes have so much makeup on their face that you could shave it off with a credit card. They have their hair did and their nails done. These are not representatives of Jesus Christ. Is this different than what you see in the world? The answer is no. They say, well, Drew, how dare you judge? Well, judge righteously. Look at uh, John 7, 24. Judge righteously. It's the same with the music. The music sound any different than, you know, the secular music that's out there? And, and most of the time, the answer is no. Does this look like a person that represents Jesus Christ? Or does this look like a lady of the evening you'd see on Friday night? Well, for your, your thoughts there, I leave it to you. Is this a Hollywood starlet, or is this supposed to be somebody who's teaching the anguish, the truth, and the salvation of Jesus Christ? Please use discernment. This is insane. So we're going to wrap this up. I would ask if you could keep uh, Shirley Johnson in your prayers, but keep Paula White in your prayers, too. Pray that God shuts this evil woman down, this narcissist woman. Pray that God shuts her down once and for all. She's very, very evil. And in the name of Jesus Christ, if you would join with me in prayer against this woman, uh, that would be great. She's doing nothing for the kingdom of God. She's doing everything to pad her bank account and her lifestyle. That's what they do. It's called filthy lucre. So I've got a couple of uh, scriptures here. You can look them up yourself. We were warned in the end times. First Timothy, a couple. There's a couple in Titus and in First Peter 5.2. Uh, concerning feeding the flock of God, what a representative of God should be doing and not be doing. Not for filthy lucre. Not for filthy lucre, but that's a common theme in the end times. The majority, or quite a majority, are doing it for the money. You and I both know this. So as we again close this down, uh, pray for this, man. I pray that at the very least Paula White takes a shot and she's wounded uh, financially because it's not right. It's not right what she's doing. She's slaughtering the lambs of Christ. And if you care at all about the truth of Jesus Christ, um, as many that can get away from Paula White and be snapped out of their witchcraft spells that Paula White has casted upon them, the better. Pray about this in Jesus' name. Otherwise, we will talk to you soon. Uh, if you are, join me Sunday nights for my live stream if you're available. 8 o'clock Central. We'll see you then. Bye.